Yeah, so like for me, when I'm kind of talking about the fit 3D with members and how to like interpret the results and how to how it applies to them, uh, I, it comes down to their goals for starters, right? So if I have somebody that comes in here where like their goal is it's weight loss, right? They don't care about their posture. It's just strictly, they need to lose 30 pounds. That's all they're kind of focused on. I mean, that's what the person values. I mean, that, it's great. We'll support them, right? And to me, that's where uh, basically the metrics you get off the report, everything from your lean mass, your body fat, your circumference measurements. Like if a person's improving, it's gonna see on the report, it's gonna see on the scan, right? So for anybody, that does their baseline assessment and then say two months down the road they retest on the fit 3d and if they're seeing improvement then i mean that person's bought in right um if that person isn't seeing improvement right then that's a good opportunity for for intervention to be able to sit down with that person just ask some questions right to be able to dig a little bit deeper like what's going on on the nutrition side of things what exactly is your training program looking like right so to me it's like like if you're not seeing results, it's not to get discouraged. It's just an opportunity for us to be able to dig a little bit deeper to see what's not maybe adding up something that you're not recognizing. Right. And right. then that's where it's just like you make an adjustment or two to your lifestyle, to your training, you stick with that. And then two months down the road, you rescan to see if you're starting to move the markers. Right. So from a body composition standpoint, um, super helpful.